a worker was carrying out welding work on a construction site. At his back was an excavator. At this moment, the operator got onto the excavator. He was not aware that the operating zone was not fenced off and the worker was remaining in the operating zone. He started the excavator. When the excavator slewed, its bucket hit the worker's head and knocked him down. Why did this happen? There was no proper work arrangement for segregation between mobile plant and workers, no fencing off of the operating zone so that no one would remain inside, otherwise the excavator must stop operating. There were no warning notices displayed to prohibit other workers from entering the operating zone of the excavator. There was also no supervisor to monitor the operation of the excavator and prohibit other workers from entering or remaining in the operating zone. The welder did not wear a reflective vest either so that the operator could not easily spot him. He was then killed in the accident. How to prevent the accident? First, proper work arrangement must be formulated for the operation of the excavator to avoid causing injury to workers working nearby including the segregation between mobile plant and workers by proper fencing off of the operating zone and displaying warning notices. Besides, appoint a supervisor to oversee the operation of the excavator and prohibit workers from entering or remaining in the operating zone to prevent accidents. All workers should wear reflective vests to enable them to be easily seen by the operator. The operator should pay attention to the environment and stay alert for responding to any emergency situations. Take adequate safety precautions and work safely.